using transformations to sketch quadratic functions. First, let's look at translations, which are shifts. They can be up and down or left and right. So if we take our parent function, y equals x squared, and add k to it, so we have y equals x squared plus k, this shifts or translates the graph vertically or in the y direction, k units, up if it's positive or down if it's negative. So for example, y equals x squared. Here's our parent function. And y equals x squared plus 3 is the parent function shifted up 3 units. On the same coordinate plane, on the same graph, it's easier to see this. Okay, y equals x squared minus k. So this shifts the graph down k units. So for example, y equals x squared, y equals x squared minus 5. Y equals x squared minus 5 was shifted down 5 units. Okay, number 2, y equals x plus h quantity squared. This shifts or translates the graph horizontally, which is in the x direction, each unit's left. For example, y equals x squared. Here's our parent function graph. y equals x plus 2 quantity squared shifts the graph two units to the left. So on the same graph, you can see the red graph is shifted left two units to form the green graph. So if we had y equals x minus h quantity squared, that would shift the graph h units right. So if I had y equals x squared, then y equals x minus 1 quantity squared is the graph shifted to the right one unit. Try this. Graph y equals x squared and y equals x squared minus 4 on the same graph. What is the transformation? So pause this while you graph and guess and try to state what the transformation is and then play again to check your answers. Okay, so y equals x squared is in red. y equals x squared minus 4 is in blue. y equals x squared is translated 4 units down to create the new graph. That's the transformation. Okay. Graph y equals x squared and y equals x plus 3 quantity squared on the same graph. What is the transformation? Again, pause while you try to do both these graphs and state the transformation. And then play again to check your answers. The parent function y equals x squared is in red, y equals x plus 3 quantity squared is in black. So y equals x squared is translated 3 units left. That's the transformation. Reflections. In other words, flipping. y equals ax squared. When a is greater than 0, parabola opens up like a U. When A is less than zero, the parabola opens down like this. In other words, it's reflected over the x-axis. For example, y equals 3x squared. This is our parent function. Sorry, it's not our parent function, it's our graph 3x squared, which is our parent function stretched vertically. And then y equals negative 3x squared is reflected over the x-axis. Here on the same graph you can see that they are clearly reflections of each other. So stretches and compressions. 
y equals ax squared. If a is less than negative 1 or greater than 1, then the graph is stretched and looks thinner. If a is between negative 1 and 1, then the graph is compressed and looks wider. So for example, y equals x squared, y equals 3x squared, y equals 1 third x squared. So here's our parent function in blue, y equals x squared, y equals 3x squared is in red, y equals 1 third x squared is in black. So we can see that y equals 3x squared looks thinner because it's stretched vertically. y equals 1 third x squared looks wider because it's compressed vertically. So in general, y equals a times the quantity x minus h quantity squared plus k, where a, h, and k are all important values that help determine whether it's translated left or right, translated up and down, um, opens up, opens down, or is vertically stretched and compressed. This is considered vertex form. HK is the vertex. So for example, if we have the equation y equals 3 quantity x minus 4 quantity squared plus 2, what numbers are in my h and k spot? 4 and 2. So my vertex is 4 comma 2. If I have y equals 2 parentheses x plus 3 quantity squared minus 8, then my vertex is negative 3 comma negative 8. Remember when things are inside parentheses it, it, looks, it looks opposite of what you would think because it's technically 2 times x minus negative 3 quantity squared minus 8. So my h is negative 3.